Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use all of the snap tools in Medibang Paint. So firstly, what are the snap tools? Well, when you open up the menu that you see at the top most of the time, there is a little section there that says snap and then a bunch of icons going sideways from it. These all have different effects. Off is the automatic mode, so you don't usually have it on, but then to select one, you just need to click one. When we click one of them, you will see that you can only draw in the way that that snap has laid out. For example, with this one, no matter how much I wriggle my finger, if I keep it on this line, it will stay like that. And it's completely straight, and I can't make it go sideways either. So they can only go on the angles shown. They're really, really useful rulers. Then, if we went to another snap, like for example, this next one, this one only lets you go in straight lines, either up or down, but not diagonally in this one. It's used for making grids and squares. The next one is kind of tricky as it doesn't have a map laid out, but it's more so like sets you on random-ish angles. And again, you can't toggle where it goes. That one specifically is a little bit confusing to use, so I'd recommend trying to use others instead. Then there's this snap right here, which is just a spiral shape. And I believe you can move this in a way, but I'm not really sure how, if I'm honest. With this, though, you can all go on a set of lines that essentially makes a spiral-like shape. Wherever you go will automatically be dragged towards the center of the spiral, which you can see is going to be up here. I think this one is super helpful for doing things like light rays. Then there is the last snap, which also doubles up as the circle tool. This one you can move about a bit more and you can toggle it. For example, this on the side can make it go taller, and this at the bottom can make it go more spread out. Then whenever you're ready, you can just start drawing your shape and it will automatically turn into a circle. With this, you can only follow the guidelines there, so to make more, you have to make it bigger yourself. It won't let you draw anywhere except on the red lines that are on the circles, as you can see right here. It's a really nice circle tool, honestly. Those are all snaps, and when you're done, you just need to click off. So those are the snaps, when you're done, again, just click off and you will be done. They're super duper useful and I honestly recommend looking into them and giving them a try for certain facts. I hope you enjoyed, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!